I'm shivering just watching that. What's the physiology behind it? Well, you've obviously got to train in very, very cold water. So I do a lot of training in, in very, very cold water. Uh, that's the first thing. Your mind has got to be very, very focused. But it's more than that. I think the, the most important thing by a long way is your heart, the reason why you're doing it. And, and for me, it's, I've been swimming now for 30 years. I've seen the oceans change. This is the last great pristine wilderness left on this earth. And I'm trying to get 25 countries to set this area aside as a national park, as a marine protected area. One country still to go. So it's been an enormous effort to get the 20 to 24 to this stage. One more to go, and that's Russia. And so this was a swim to go there, to do these swims, and then go off to Moscow to try and persuade the Russian leadership to actually you know, give their vote to this thing. So it, it looks beautiful, it looks pristine, it looks amazing. Why is it so fundamentally important? Uh, for, a num for a number of reasons. The main reason is because this is the last great wilderness area on this earth. So scientists can go down there and they can study what a healthy ecosystem looks like. <clears throat> you go to the rest of the world's oceans, they have been so badly overfished. I did a series of swims recently in the Seven Seas. So in the Mediterranean, Adriatic, Aegean, Black Sea, Red Sea, and North Sea. And I didn't see one whale, not one shark, not one dolphin, and not one fish bigger than 30 centimeters, okay? That's what's happening to our oceans. They've been so badly overfished. But this area is still safe, okay? But now the great big fishing fleets are going down there, and we need to, to, to carve it out. I mean, you imagine a world without the Kruger National Park or Shashlui or Addo or any of these great areas. South Africa would be a very, very different place, and that's the same in our oceans now, very underprotected.